Okay, guys, it's out again. Well, guess what? We're working on the oven rude. Told you it would happen again. That looks pretty good. Okay, guys, um, we have the uh, 3M. Okay, guys, I told you, the 3M A47 adhesive. This is Scotch Weld High Performance Rubber and Gasket Adhesive. Um, we also have a tube, a very little tube, of... I don't know if you guys can read that, probably not, but it's dielectric grease. Supposedly this is good for O-rings. And we have the bushing that came out of the bottom end, and uh, we have the O-ring, that's the new O-ring. I lubed it all up good, uh, especially the inside, where the shaft goes through. And we're ready to tap that baby down in there. So let's see, oh yeah. We also have this little packing washer that has to be dropped down in there too. So we're going to try. Well, that didn't work too bad. We got pretty close to getting that in there. Oops. Okay. The little washer is down in the hole. I know you guys can't see that, but take my word for it. Now we got to try to drop this little brass bushing down in here somehow straight up not bad um, the technique I think we're going to use is uh, to uh, I think I'm going to try get it squared up a little bit looks pretty good I'll show you guys what we got <coughs> get you off the stand um, you guys see that bushing right there get the light on it sort of it's tough when we're in this position right there I'm going to tap that down in and seat that I've already got the fiber washer down below it so that's what we're going to do the technique uh, we're using an extension with a socket that's just about the right size, I think. Um, we'll set that up there. We'll find a hammer. I had a hammer. Still got a hammer. And we'll... Going in good, going in square. That sounded like we hit the bottom. Just about flush. So I would say that is correct. And I'm going to show you guys what we did. It might be easier to bring this to you so you guys can see. See the bushing? It's tapped in. This gear is all in the bearings. That's all good to go. Um, I am going to have to make a run up to... Where's this bushing? This bearing go? I don't know. Oh, I know where it goes. Had a brain fart. Um, there's another bearing here. What did I do with it? Half the problem was I was talking on the phone. Somebody called. So, get distracted. It doesn't take much. There's another bearing that goes on here. But if you guys can see, this is a snap ring. And it was just laying in there. I don't think that's right. So we may have to get the book out and see if I can figure out where the snap ring is supposed to go. So kind of weird. But I'm going to shut you guys off. I'm going to find that stupid bearing. Where did I lay it down? And I'm going to go uh, hit it on the wire brush because it looks pretty rusty from laying down in there. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, before I go up, here is said rusty, greasy, nasty bearing. It doesn't sound too bad. Sounds like it's got some dirt in it, but we'll clean it up and repack it. So I'll be back. Okay guys, so what I've done is I've taken this up and I put it on the uh, wire brush and I sprayed it out with, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it doesn't sound too bad. Um, I sprayed it out with uh, some carb cleaner 
just to uh, get any of the dirt and crap out of it. Now we're just going to grease it. There's probably a different type of grease I could use, but general purpose grease will work. I don't know if you guys have ever packed a bearing before, but the way I do it is I grab a bunch of it and I put it down here in the palm of my hand. It's kind of a gross job. And then I just squeeze that in. And you can actually see, you see the dirty grease and the clean grease? It's pushing that dirty grease out. And that's what you want to do. Let's get that grease out of there and we'll wipe that off. Grab a little more so we can get a good pack in there. And so that's looking pretty good. Now we have a bearing that has been packed with clean grease. Okay guys, um, see this groove right here? You'd almost think, even though there's a little step in it here, there's like a little division, that something would have to catch in that groove, like a little ring or something. Um, but you would almost think it would be this right here. But I'll show you. I took the bearing off and there's a thrust washer on this side. Well, actually it's not even a washer. They show it in the drawing as a washer on the inside. But I, there might be one there. I didn't take that gear off. There very well could be a washer in there. But uh, let's try to put this bearing on one handed. And drop this back in here. I'm just doing a dry fit just so we kind of give an idea. This bearing is right up flush. The shaft is where it's supposed to be. This is engaging the pinion gear. Fine. Shift dog is going back and forth. Now this little clip that I told you guys about seems um, this has actually got to get turned around and this has got to get turned around. I've had it in here once. It's kind of a challenge to get it to line up. I'm trying to get it to pop in. But they said these, I think these have to point up and down. And the brass side goes towards the gear, which is all good. But I know I'm not in the notch. There. Okay, I think I'm in now. This isn't, this is kind of in the groove, but I think that groove might be on the other side too. Oops. Ooh. Where'd that washer come from? It's all bent up. Oh, this was a washer I used. Don't worry about that. Pay no attention to that washer. I have not cleaned this side up yet, but um, yeah, so. So there is a little groove right here to catch that snap ring that really had no home. And it would go in between, the, the little little tit there would go right up in there and everybody would be happy. So I believe that maybe that groove right in here, right in there, that, that groove doesn't have this ride in it. I think it just allows maybe oil to get up around and oil the bearing because it would be on the bearing side and would let the oil get into it. What do you guys think about that plan? Sound about right? So um, let me get this thing cleaned up and the surface is cleaned up and we'll put some uh, 3M847. They call for a 1000 sealer but I think this is the same stuff even though I think in some cases they said this stuff is the same stuff, I don't know. But we bought this, and they say it's good on the O-rings. So we're going to put some around the O-ring surface, all the way around here, all the way around where the silicone. We got the new spaghetti seal. I think I made that already. I'll double check it, make sure I cut it to the right length. And we'll go from there. 
Okay guys, we're back. I got everything I think pretty well cleaned up, ready for reassembly. Um, I have the shift shaft. Um, the shift shaft has to go in first because it has to go around. See the angle here? The angle of the dangle here? That has to go around the uh, propeller shaft. So let's pull this back out. I've got that all oiled and greased up. Everything is good in here. I'm not sure what side. I think it would have to go on this side. And there we go. That's all down in. Now let's uh, put some adhesive glue stuff on here. I believe what I think we're going to do is we're going to put it on the O-ring. I don't know, is this open? It's loose. Well, maybe I'm going to have to get a piece of wire and poke it out a little bit. I mean, it seems like it's it's probably all dried up. You know, it's only $36. Um, let me go find a nail. I'll be back. Okay, we got her goobing out now. So, let's... Ooh, gross. Uh, I think we're going to put put it around because they say it works on the O-ring. I got a little goober. Oh. Oh, damn it. Okay. We'll pick that up in a minute. Not sure how much of this stuff I'm supposed to use. Right on there. Okay. Clean some of the dirt off it. Then when I dropped it. Um. Now we also need to check this. Make sure this is going to be big enough. Leave three thirty seconds of an inch, right? I think I took the other one out and measured it. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. So I think I'm just gonna throw some of this crap in here to try to hold that in place. Okay. Yeah. We can trim that off a little bit. I'm just smearing some of that around on top of it just so the seal cases are sealed. I think I am going to pull it a little bit more that way and trim trim some of that off. See how that kind of hangs out a little bit. Let's get rid of that. So we just kind of fold it over, give it a little zip zip there. So, ugh, that stuff is kind of stringy and sticky. Very stringy and sticky. Okay, so that case is ready to go back on. This has all been sealed up. You guys can see I goobered it all up. So now we got a fish. This has got to be setting up straight. This hole has got to be down. sure if this is in. Feels like it is. What's the chances of me dropping that in there first try? Not many. 
because this has to come out because this has to get turned around I think okay oh no that's moving I think that's in there this is pushed down into the groove is this catching on anything yeah okay that's catching in the groove that's good this comes around and gets into the oh there's another part to this I know there is ah here it is I knew we were missing a part we needed this part here I didn't think that felt quite right that goes in there it's just got goober on it man that stuff is sticky that 3m stuff really bonds to your fingers okay I think they say this works better if it's in neutral so I'm going to try to get it in the middle position so when we go to put the pin back in it um, so this is down into its little groovy thing that's kind of an its groovy thing this is good gears are good um, all that is good put the top back on this 36 dollar tubage stuff which will probably dry out. I'll put it in the fridge. Um, this cover looks pretty good. And we've got some goober here. Let's clean that off. See if we're good. And then I got a screw which requires a plastic washer. Um, I guess that plastic washer is what seals that what do you think of me the chances of getting this screw to line up slim to none I don't know if that's it or not I don't think it is it might be might be too high on the shift rod too. Uh, that looks pretty good. If that's the actual hole. Nothing yet. Come on. Find it. Okay guys, what's the trick to getting this thing in? I'll show you what I'm doing. Turn this around. I am trying to get this bolt into that hole right there. Seems like it's setting up awful high here on one side. I mean it popped out here or something. Okay, now we're back in again. Huh. I don't know. I don't know what the trick is. Maybe if we set it on its side, throw the bolt across the room. I'm thinking if it's up on its side like this, maybe I can, ah darn it, I need six hands. That's how you do it. Tip it on its side. Find a screwdriver. Find it quick. Okay. Let's get this guy back in here. Okay, cool beans. Um, I think we have another plastic washer for up here on the drain and I'm not sure if there's a fill on this. I don't think there is. Is that pointed the right? Wait. 
Did I screw this up? No, we're okay, right? We have to be okay. It's the only way to work. So let's just double check it here before we go crazy. So that's, I don't know, that's spinning. I don't know if the shaft is spinning. That's the problem. I need the dry shaft to know. Um, let's let's put the uh, bolts back in this, I guess, or at least a couple of them, and then we'll try to do that. I have a plan for this, though. O-rings. Here we go. Here's the plan. What do you guys think? I've got a whole bunch of little O-rings right there. A whole bunch of them. What if I slip one of those on every one of those screws? Maybe. Here would be a screw. I believe these are the ones that go in there. What do you guys what do you guys think about that idea? Got a little silicone hanging. But you see what I did? Is I put a uh o-ring right on the bottom of the screw. You think that might be a good idea? Bad idea. I don't know. Now, I'm not going crazy tightening these down. It's going to take me a few minutes to get all this silicone off these screws and uh, outfit them with fancy, fancy O-rings. So, I'll, uh, I'll do this and bring you guys back. You don't need to watch me doing this. Okay guys, what I've done now is I've taken the screws here and I have slipped that O-ring on all of them. There's uh, nine of them, I think. And they all have O-rings on them. I don't know, maybe I'll even put a little dab of sealer Maybe the, some of that uh, brown stinky sealer on the threads. Um, that may work as a, uh, you know, a, a thread, um, not even a sealer, but a anti-seize type thing where the water couldn't get in there to, because these are steel and that's aluminum and you could get sculling and that kind of thing. So I'm thinking that might not be a bad plan. So we can get rid of these O-rings. Oh yeah, I put that white washer. I know you guys can't see it, but I put a white washer on there. And I don't think I'm supposed to. I think the white washer goes up here. And I think an O-ring goes on that. So we'll probably have to fight that out again. And uh, so I'm just putting just the tiniest little dab on those of this brown stinky stuff. Um, getting it in the hole. Can't hurt, right? Try to keep that water out. So. Or to lock the things in so you'll never be able to get them out. What do you think about that? Is that a good plan? <laughs> be the next guy's problem, right? Hopefully I don't have to get back into this thing too soon. So, I don't want to get back into it. There's probably some cool pattern. I'm just kind of snugging everybody down, getting them kind of where I want them. And then I'll torque them from the center out. Um, I don't think it says anything in the manual. I have that original manual. And it's not the most enlightening book in the world, but it does give us some idea. So... Okay, so I think I'm going to tighten that one a little. Yeah. Start in the middle. Go over here. Go over here. I mean, I think I can see them O rings kind of squishing out a little bit. So, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. 
but they are squishing out. Some of that sealer is squishing out. Some of that 847. So now let's go down and put the death squeeze on it. Make sure we got them good and tight. I think I'm going to tip it over and get that screw out that I messed up. And uh, I did change the the bushings too in that. End. Okay, in the end, um, the seal right here, that's all been changed. I, I did it. I might have did it on camera in a way previous video, but they have been done. So um, I'm just wiping off some of that rubber rubber glue get that out of the way let's get that out of here and get the o-ring ready there's an o-ring laying in here I tried to put all the extra parts in here all the screws and such and um, so I wouldn't lose them so let's Get that up out. Okay, good. I went right back in to the shifting mechanism. You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to put a little goop on the threads of this too, even though it's probably fine. Um, you know what this is that rubber this is an o-ring it's rubber so I'm gonna put a little bit of this stuff on here because this isn't supposed to affect the, um, the the rubber it's supposed to stay really good so okay and that already has the seal which I'll tighten up so I think I can flip it over this way and I might even be able to wedge the dry shaft down in here um, this has an o-ring on it that's catching I believe I don't know if I get a new o-ring I got it on here now I can't get it out well huh well I don't know if I got a new o-ring or not I may have one in the kit but let's just drop this in here and uh, play with everything here but that goes right through this hole doesn't it when it lines up I'm not overly concerned about that at the moment. I just want to get this down into the spline if I can. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Get down in there. to go. I got the new seal in here too. I don't want to have to take this part to get the dry shaft back in it. I wonder if I turn this maybe. Hmm. It's not feeling real good. I wonder if I can... Has a thrust washer here. Oops. And on this 
this way. I'm just going to put a pin in this, I think. So I can move the gear around. Get the shaft to pop in. Come on, baby. Son of a bitch. This dry shaft does not want to go in there. Could I be putting it in backwards? Am I putting it in upside down? I don't think so. It's tight though. Come on. Hmm. I see splines. No, those are bearings. Okay guys, I can't get this dry shaft in. I mean, this is where the keyway is, so that's got to be the bottom side of it. It just won't go in. I hope I don't have to take this all apart to get that dry shaft in. This stupid thing is annoying me. can't seem to pull it off this way. Don't know why. Something, something ain't right. Something's, something's not working, guys. Believe that. I mean, everything looks, everything looks good down in there. It came off of it, I think. Did this dry shaft, yeah, this dry shaft came out of that motor. Son of a bitch. Drop in. Oh, there it goes. Maybe. Am I in neutral? No, I'm in gear. Oh, there we go. Getting some movement. Kind of turning hard. I don't know why. Okay, that's going that way. Feels like it's turning hard, but maybe it's because of the seals. Oh, this should start going. Yep. So that shifted it the other way. Okay, so we're in now. Okay. Just uh cantankerous. But um that's down in now, the keyway's in the right spot. And the shaft is going both directions. Good. So I just don't like the way it feels. It feels like a little growly. That's 
stupid thing. It's feeling a little better. That's getting better. Okay, so it's turning, shaft's going around, forward and reverse is working, put it down, yeah, now it goes back the other way, so, okay, that's working, I think it just needed to find its home, okay, so, um, I think we got the gear case all reassembled, so that's not too bad. Now all we got to do is the water pump, and we got to clean clean that out a little bit. It's pretty gross, and um, we'll go from there. So I'll bring you guys back when I get that cleaned out. Okay, guys. Among <laughs> along with closer inspection, I don't know if you guys can make that out, but this washer, this thrust washer has a pretty good dent in it. Now that could have been from me pulling the power head. Maybe it was stuck when I was prying it up. But I think the power head come off pretty good. But I'm pretty sure, maybe you guys can see it this way. There's a little hump right here. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be there. It looks like it caught on a keyway. So I'm gonna beat on it with a hammer. Can't work, right? Gotta be the right way. So, <laughs> a little body work, and uh, we flatten that plate out. Um, there's a key on this thing. I'll spin this around maybe. So you guys can see there's the key right there. The key is in this bucket of goodies somewhere. I know it's in here. There it is. I see it. It's in here. I just can't get it. It's oily and greasy. Okay. We'll clean a little of the crud off it. Slip that guy in there. Not sure if there's a front and a back to this. What's the ran into a burr? What's going on? Oh yeah, there's a burr right there. Uh, Raymond Burr. No, not a Raymond Burr. So we're just giving it a, just stroking the shaft, boys. That's all we're doing. Stroking the shaft. Cleaning it up. Okay. Still got a little, little thing there in it, but it went over it. So now... Yeah, there. So we're down onto the onto the keyway. That's locked in. That looks pretty good. Now we need to get the goober off the bottom of this. And I'm not sure. What does that look like to you guys? I don't know what kind of sealer that is. I almost think it might be. They use this throughout this motor, and it's kind of rubbery. So I don't know what that sealer is, but I'm going to get it peeled off and cleaned up, and uh, we'll put this back on. Okay, guys, I've cleaned up the surface on this um, to the best of my ability, and um, I'm going to, um, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this dielectric grease. They said it's good for O-rings. It's got to be good for pumping propellers, right? And I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of this on the surfaces where they go in. Just so, just so that pump has some better lubrication. So. They say 
I guess you can use red grease or something. I don't know what the hell that is. I guess I watched too many YouTube videos. So, okay. So somehow, I don't know what direction this pump's got to go. It looks like the impellers have got to be folded to the right. So I must have to try to turn this. Let's see which way the shaft's going to go. Yep, if I turn it this way, that will spin that shaft that way. And then this will drop right on. And all will be wonderful in the world, maybe. This doesn't seem to... Okay, that's better. I wonder if I should put some goober down below that. I don't know. Probably, with that plate in the middle. I think there was some sealer underneath it. What do you guys think? Put sealer under that plate of some sort? I don't know. I don't know. Let's do that. So all I'm doing is just putting a little bit of this brown stinky goop on the mating surfaces. Can't hurt. I guess. I'm just using a piece of wire as like a little paintbrush. Okay. That is beautiful. Not really, but you get the idea. Okay. Keyway goes back in again. We've got to turn the shaft around because I can't find the keyway. Key goes back in. This has all been greased up. We're good. We're going to put some goop on. Okay, what did I do with the cover, guys? I told you I lose things in like a half a second. Here it is. Okay, we got this all cleaned up now. As you guys might be able to see in the light, but the light is pointed in some weird position. So, um, I'm going to just put some of that on here too. I'm not going real crazy with it because it does want to run around. I might have to hit it with my finger a little bit. Okay, so we just put a layer of that, that stuff on. This goes this way. Now there's a bearing up in here. I don't believe, I don't believe I have this seal, which I probably should have, which might cause us issues. Um, but you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of that goop in here. I don't recall changing that seal. I thought I had a seal kit for this, but I don't think it included. Let me let me just look and make sure that I don't have the seal for this before I go crazy. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I do not have the seal for this. I thought I bought a seal for it. But I guess I didn't. I bought a new water pump, but not a new seal. So, come on, baby. Fits hard enough around that. Now, the hard part. Somehow, I have to rotate this and get these blades. Is that it? dropping down in there yet. Okay. Is that it? No, oh, that's not it. Keep trying to turn it so the blades will drop in. Getting better. Okay, I think we're down. got the blades so they're pointed um, that way so if that's right or not I do not know okay it looks like we need some smaller bolts I don't think these need to be sealed or anything I'm not even sure these are the right bolts 
just digging through the box here. I got a short one here. I have no idea where that one goes. That doesn't even look like it goes anywhere. I wonder if there was one missing or something. That doesn't even fit in there. Hmm. You know what? I almost think there was only two screws holding that in. Um, it's got to be the pin for the prop. There's a cotter pin. There's two other little screws. Oh, those go... I almost think these little screws go in this brass connector. Yeah, they do. Okay, I'm going to have to make sure I do something with that somehow before I put that up in because I'll never be able to get those threaded in there. So. Well, that didn't work. Okay. I think I got that started. So, I think we got to go find another screw. Um, a little tiny one to get that clamp down but I am going to put these down tight because I got that sealer in there and I want them to kind of do a little bit of its job before it dries so I'm just going to snug these down a little bit and then go looking through my screw collection to see if I've got a, a suitable which I almost think I do uh, a suitable substitute Okay guys, I have found a suitable replacement, not exactly perfect, it's a little short, but I think it'll do just fine, and uh, it looks the part, so we're going to tighten that down, okay, tighten this down, throw it on the floor, this way. Okay. I think we're pretty close to trying to snake this back up in there. And um, I'm not even sure how it goes together up in here. Well, I see two holes up there. I don't know what you guys can see. Not a lot. See those two holes? There they are. We got to get those water tubes back into those somehow. Not sure how. There's really no way to adjust them. So I guess we're just going to try shoving it in the hole. There. What do you guys think? Let's try. Um, what should we use for a gasket material down here? Anything? Uh, I don't know. I think there was a gasket. There was some gasket material on that. Let's do it. Okay. Oh. Let's insert it. I gotta put that o-ring on. I wonder if I should do that first. Let's do that. Remember that o-ring I took off? That's just the pin holding the thing. I think I threw that o-ring right in the bucket. I believe this is it. Okay. Back to trying to insert this thing. I think I'm gonna pull the prop off. It'll be a hair lighter. It's kind of heavy. Okay. Okay. Going in. Maybe. Oh. 
Huh. Why does it really thin down your pipes here, don't it? What you got to do, turn it? I wonder if it's easier to... Huh. You can't really turn the pipes. I mean, they kind of pinch together. I guess. Holy crap, this is going to be impossible. I don't have a clue. How do you know when it's in? <laughs> How do you know when the water pipes are in? You don't. You have no clue. You could push on these things all day. You never have an idea if it's if the pipes are even close to where they gotta be. And I don't know if can you imagine trying to put this stupid thing up in here with I mean, it's hitting something. I don't know if it's the pipe, but the pipes seem to be moving around still. Huh. How do, how do you do it, guys? guys can chime in anytime let me know how the hell you do this I don't even have a clue how would you get those in I mean there's no way you can't see what you're doing I mean do you try to pull the water pipes out now? I mean, I don't even have a clue. I can't. I can't see anything in there. Well, trial one didn't work. There's got to be, got to be a way to do it. Let's see if we can get a light up in there. Oh, crap. Huh. There seems to be a... Oh, the other shift shaft. How to... <laughs> How you guys do it? You got to get two freaking tubes lined up and the shift shaft. That's damn near impossible. I have no clue how you guys do it. I think that's what I'm hitting is this, maybe. My gasket sealer is kind of drying up on me here. I don't know. I don't know. No, I'm not hitting the shift shaft. I don't even see it. I don't even see the shift shaft. It must be hitting on the import there where the port's going. No clue how to do this. No way. No way, guys. No way to put this up in there. You can't even see the tubes. You can't get in there. What am I doing wrong? I watch you guys do it all the time. They go bloop. They fall right in. Um, I don't know.
putting on backwards or something stupid? Oh, maybe. Oh, it's pointier this way. No, oh, I think I'm putting it on backwards. That goes on the boat side, so this has got to be... Well, no, that doesn't make any sense. No, I'm right. Okay, that goes on the boat side, so... No, I'm not doing it backwards. What the hell? And it doesn't even feel like it's hitting those pipes. It's like it's into something else. What the hell? Okay, it's not working. Oh, I got the freaking thing all figured out. Okay, well, that worked perfect. <laughs> I can't get it on. Uh, I'm going to post a video and maybe somebody will know how to do it. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. I really appreciate some comments because I'm not sure how to do this. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.